The following footage is from a work in progress build of Alpha Protocol. Hey everybody, this is Matthew Rory, a producer at Obsidian Entertainment, creators of Alpha Protocol. Alpha Protocol is a modern day spy RPG that starts you off as a green field agent codenamed Michael Thornton. This walkthrough that we're going to be doing today takes place at the pretty early on in the game in the Moscow hub. We want to show you some of the dynamic dialogue system and also some of the reactive world elements that we've built into the game. Let's ditch the interrogation. You're here for the missiles, so let's not play games. Darling, I do not play games. Now here we go. So before you go out into the field, you're going to have to make a choice of a handler. The handler choice is going to affect gameplay, objectives, and the kind of factions that you encounter during a mission. And the missions are going to play out very differently depending on who you bring along with you. Agent Thornton, I understand you're going after Surkov. Albatross. A little surprise to hear from you. Albatross, one of the possible handlers, is contacting us. Albatross is the leader of the G22 faction, a very mysterious group of information seekers. So what we're seeing here is an example of the dynamic dialogue system, or DDS for short. The DDS forces you to choose between a variety of chat responses or stances when dealing with characters. However, you only have so much time to pick your stance, so there's a lot of tension involved. Michael Thornton has three main dialogue options, suave, professional, or aggressive. Sometimes, however, you're going to get a fourth action-based option, the shut them up choice, which will result in shooting somebody in the kneecap or bashing their head into a bar. Fun stuff like that. What Albatross wants to do is have you go to the embassy to find a character named Surkov. Expecting trouble? Always. So this is the embassy that Mike needs to infiltrate. Albatross is definitely kind of a stealthy character. He doesn't like a lot of firefights. He'll avoid that if possible. So what he's going to do is tell Mike how to get into the embassy through kind of a back door. What we're seeing here is another faction, the VCI. They stand in opposition to Albatross, but they're going to be storming the building at the same time as Michael. They have the similar objectives, but a lot more firepower. So you have to make your way through the building and find Zirkov before they do. Now let me rewind to show the same mission played differently with different choices. You can't do this in the game, but luckily I can do it here today. This is Z, another potential handler for the same Moscow mission. Hello, darling. She's a, an ex-Stasi mercenary who kind of runs with a rough crowd. She's always looking for a fight. Some people appreciate a little suave touch, some people really like professionalism, but Z is definitely very much a fan of being treated aggressively. Uh, but like any other character, she can either hate you or love you or anywhere in between. Treating people the way they prefer to be treated is kind of beneficial to you because you might unlock different items, different weapons, different intelligence things that you can buy in the store. But again, if you side with one faction or one character, another faction or character might actually dislike you. So it's kind of a choice that you have to make between, uh, do I want to deal with the weapons dealer who's going to sell me more weapons? Or do I want to, do I want to piss off the, uh, you know, the intelligence service that's going to not sell me intelligence if I actually am friends with the weapons dealer? So it's all kind of this big web of reactive elements that you never entirely have the whole picture of. Okay, back to Z. She's our handler now, and she's a bit more straightforward than Albatross is. Mike is going to walk right up and kind of smooth talk the guards to be let in. And if you're wondering, the sneaky path that we took with Albatross is still there. The Z just doesn't know about it, so she can't really tell us about it. Since I have chosen Z as my handler, the G22 uh, forces underneath Albatross are here, and they are also looking for Zirkov, so we are in trouble. The choice of Z for this level obviously impacts the mission itself a great deal, but it also has impact on the future missions that you're going to play through. Even though you don't know it yet, she is going to play a pretty big role at the end of this hub. Uh, as you try to finish up your work in Moscow, she will come back and be a character that you can inter interact with more. I do not mind sharing you. For now. Great. In the past, many of our RPGs have focused on either good or evil paths of the game. This time it's more of a Shades of Grey approach. It's a bit more complex and nuanced than just saying that this is the morally right or wrong thing to do. It's a mixture of good, bad, and what is necessary to get the job done. In Alpha Protocol, we like to say that your weapon is choice, and that applies to every decision you make, whether it's in combat or in dialogue. Hopefully we whet your appetite to see more about Alpha Protocol in future walkthroughs. Uh, we're going to show you next time a little bit about safe houses and customization. <laughs>